I'm going to kind of say something a little bit nuts, but that's okay. Because I always say nutty things. I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent and go off in some into some crazy outer space way of thinking. But I'm thinking, you know, when I think about Sam Harris and his issue about science, the morality of science, or creating a kind of science of values and morality, I'm thinking more that morality is more of an art, if you will. Because it's really a balancing act. It's a very delicate balancing act because you know what? What's moral can't really be put into a sort of code, so to speak. You know, like we could sort of say, have a rule that said, we should never lie. Don't ever lie. Don't ever tell a lie. That's immoral. That would be more scientific because it's uniform in nature. It's like, um, kind of like, you know, like an oxygen molecule. It has a certain number of protons and neutrons. Now it could have more neutrons, and then it'll be an atomic. It'll be a, a, a an isotope of oxygen. But still, you know, if I get my science right, sometimes I get my science wrong. But that's okay. The point is that we can be look at it like science and make have a bunch of rigid set rules. But isn't that what religion does anyway? I think that morality in everyday life is more of a balancing act because sometimes you're caught in a situation where you have to choose between, you know, bad and badder, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like you got two bad things you have to do, but you got to choose which one. And I don't think you can have a science of that because you don't, you have to know all the circumstances. And none of us can know every circumstance that faces every person in every situation every time they have to make a decision. And if we say things like, well, we do know this and we do know that, then we already know it. We don't need a science for it. You know, if, if there are things we already know, we don't need a science. But it, this is a point where it comes down to human decisions. A decision you have to make I shouldn't say human because I'm like saying like humans are the only ones who have to decide. You know, squirrel got to decide something too. I'm always I'm always using squirrels because they, they I, I see them so much and I get to thinking they have to think too. And you know it's funny because I actually like to use it. I know it's a beanie baby, but anyway, the thing is I get to thinking that animals do have to think something. Like when squirrels approach me, they kind of check me out. You know, they look and they have to make a decision. Am I a friend? Or am I an enemy? Am I going to harm them? You know, I may want to play with them, so I do the little clicking noise. But somehow they're attracted to clicking sounds for whatever reason. And I give them food. You know, over a period of time, they begin to trust me more. And they usually, if I feed certain group of squirrels, they actually will come to me right away as soon as they see me. There are decisions that they make. They're not thinking, gee, I'm putting my life in danger <laughs> and the life of my family in danger. You know, some squirrel and his wife <laughs> could come over there close to me and he say, you know, honey, wait a minute, hold, it, hold up. Let me check this out first. Let me get closer and see if he's safe, okay? You know, and usually squirrels don't say that. They say, sweetheart, they don't say honey. But anyway, that's the thing. They have to make decisions and they have to think. So there's a kind of balancing act. They look at the situation. Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Should we do this? Should we not do this? Decisions. Choices. We can study the aftermath of a choice. But, you know, what choice we ought to make? Can we really come up with a sort of science of that? Or is it more like art? Is making a choice more like art or is it more like science? I think it's more like art. I think it's more requires the creative parts of our mind. I think morality requires more of being in touch with feelings. Just like you do when, when I'm, at least when I'm making art, when I'm painting something, I go with my feelings. I go with this feeling. So it's something that I don't even have 100% control over. I just flow with that, a kind of flowing with it. I don't think you can really come up with a science of morality. 
I don't think so. I'm skeptical that that's possible. So the real question is, can morality be looked at in a scientific way? I think it should be looked at more in, in a more creative kind of way, a creative morality. It's kind of a radical notion, so I know that that's kind of out there in thinking, so it's just something to think about.